So did any of you catch the Game of Thrones season premiere on Sunday night? It turns out 4.4 million of you did, a record-breaking number for HBO in the U.S. But the season 3 premiere episode also earned another distinction. It's now the most torrented file ever. Now, Game of Thrones leads the pack by a wide margin, Sunday's premiere earning a million downloads in less than a day, with over 160,000 people sharing a single torrent at one time. Considering HBO had about 4.5 million actual viewers, that's a huge chunk of audience. But what else are people torrenting these days? Some of the answers might surprise you. Let's look at the Pirate Bay, for example, which is now the world's number one torrenting site, having benefited from others gradually falling victim to regulation. First, the unsurprising. Second to Thrones right now is the season finale of The Walking Dead, the AMC zombie drama that attracted over 12 million US viewers on Sunday night. Also popular right now is Bioshock Infinite, the newly released first-person shooter and the third installment in the Bioshock series. Set in 1912 in a fictional floating city of Columbia, the game has earned stellar reviews from critics and everyday gamers alike, so not a shocker that it's also a hot torrent. But the other game lingering in the top 100 on Pirate Bay isn't a bigger ticket item like Bioshock. It's an indie mobile game called Subway Surfers that's actually free for both iOS and Android. This is a straightforward game where you play one of a ragtag crew of outlaws, running through subway tracks, collecting coins, and evading the authorities. It's already gained a sizable cult following and is creeping up the charts on iTunes, having already already been hosted on Pirate Bay over 22,000 times. As for TV, another popular torrent is Revolution, co-produced by J.J. Abrams' production house. The show imagines a not-too-distant future where every piece of technology has mysteriously blacked out, leaving the characters to survive and also piece together why. Not hard to see how the premise hits close to home for many of us. We lived in an electric world. We relied on it for everything. And then the power went out. Everything stopped working. We weren't prepared. Fear and confusion led to panic. Honorable mentions go to Vikings, a History Channel miniseries about the seafaring raiders of yore. Fresh off the popularity of the Bible miniseries, Vikings has also seen huge popularity on Pirate Bay. Lastly, Castle, an ABC crime drama about a mystery novelist who teams up with the NYPD to solve some serial murders based off his own plots. Now, of course, different companies have different thoughts on what it means to be heavily pirated, some more hardline than others. But for what it's worth, HBO sees it as a compliment. Their programming president, Michael Lombardo, sees piracy as a sign of high demand and believes it does not negatively impact DVD sales, which have also set records for the network. So do any of these surprise you or not? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. This is Annie for TFN.